What's up, Raging Nation? How's it going? This is Alex. You and you're watching The Road to Beast Wars. This is just a web series. We're talking about the production of Transformers Rise of the Beasts. This is episode number 30. First of all, I want to say thank you to everybody for all the overwhelming support, the overwhelming welcome you guys gave me. I've read all the comments and it is great to be back. I really appreciate all the excitement and enthusiasm. We are back doing updates for the latest Transformers live action film and here we are back again. So what do we got to talk about in this episode? Let's talk about voice actors. What do we already know? Well, we already know that Optimus Prime will be voicing Peter Cullen and we also know that Optimus Prime will be voicing Ron Perlman. But what about the rest of the characters? We don't have any official announcements for every character, but we now have an official announcement for two characters. And that is for Jazz, that is for Mirage, <laughs> Autobot Mirage, and the Maximal Air Razor. And if you look over at Steve, director Stephen Capel Jr.'s most recent posting on his Instagram account, he posted our new voice actors for those two um, good guys, th those two Autobot, I mean, the Autobot, <laughs> the good guy characters, Autobot Mirage and Maximal Air Razor. And that is none other than Autobot Mirage will be voiced by Pete Davidson and Air Razor, the Maximal, will be voiced by Michelle Yeoh. And I am excited. First of all, Pete Davidson. He's got a pretty unique voice. I think he's a talented voice actor. He voiced um, a character in Angry Birds 2, as well as a character, um, Marmaduke, the title character. And, you know, he's no stranger to voice acting or voicing animated characters, along with Michelle Yeoh, who's done the same thing in movies like um, Minions, The Rise of Gru, as well as Paws of Fury and Kung Fu Panda 2. So a lot of uh, martial arts themed characters. Now I'm very, very excited to, to see her voice a maximal. That's very, very exciting. And I think she actually has a very, very um, a unique voice. I think when she voices a character, she almost sounds very, um, it's, it's, a, it's a very calm voice, but it's a, also a very, uh, um, a leading voice. You know, a, it's a very strong voice, a strong but calm voice. And it's got some, um, it can even be a, like evil in a way, but not that she's playing anybody evil. But I feel like um, there, there is a, uh, there's a sense of she if she wanted to she could play an evil character based on her voice because she has played um, you know antagonists before crazy rich Asians uh, But in any case, I'm really really excited about this announcement Because I'm excited to see these two talented voice actors or these two talented artists play these characters and I'm most excited about Michelle Yeoh Pete Davidson, I'm really curious to see what he's going to bring to the table uh, because I really did not expect Pete Davidson to voice Mirage. Definitely not him at all, <laughs> but it's a bit of a surprise. But, you know, I got an open mind. I want to see what he's going to bring to the table. Um, I'm, I'm having a feeling that there's going to be a bit of um, uh, eccentricness, for lack of a better term, to his character. A little bit of um, playfulness. And definitely um, not the Mirage that we're used to, especially if um, from G1. I don't think we're gonna get that kind of a character. Um, they're gonna obviously they they um, they cast him for a reason, and I think it's um, they they like the the fact that his personality is a bit out there. In any case, really really excited about this. This is official news that we do have uh, two voice actors. Now I'm excited to see who's next. Who are, who's going to be voicing some of the villains? I'm really curious about that. Now, another thing that I want to mention is, of course, we got a trailer coming soon. And I'm having a feeling that the reason why we got the announcement for these two characters first uh, is because perhaps they're doing um, some voice... They're obviously doing voiceover work for the movie, but perhaps that they got uh, Pete Davidson and Michelle Yeoh to do the voice acting first because... 
maybe their voices will be featured in the first piece of marketing. Perhaps in the teaser trailer, we're going to get one line from Mirage and maybe one line from Air Razor. Maybe. And that's why they're, um, they're having them um, um, do the voice acting first because we haven't heard any any news uh, or rather any announcement from the other characters or any other actors voicing uh, characters, right? <clears throat> I feel like um, uh, Ron Perlman and uh, um, uh, Peter Cullen will be doing their voice acting last, uh, just because they, um, you know, they're 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 big bigger characters. You know, they 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 have more screen time, so therefore they're gonna save uh, they're gonna uh, save that for the last part in terms of the voice recording because their parts are a lot bigger, okay? So there you have it, that's all I gotta say in this video. What are you guys thinking about? What do you guys think about these uh, choices, uh, or th this casting choice rather? Pete Davidson as Mirage and Michelle Yeoh as Air Razor. I think Air Razor is perfect, played by Michelle Yeoh. Uh, Pete Davidson, uh, I think I think some might, some might think he's questionable, but I'm looking forward to it. I wanna see what he's gonna bring to the table, and I wanna see, I guess a new version of Mirage. He doesn't have to be the way he was in G1. Obviously, he's not. He's a Porsche, right? So um, we'll see how it goes. Looking forward to that teaser trailer, hopefully December. My name's Alex. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.